Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5 projects. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to integrate Google Maps with SAP UI5. So there are a few prerequisites, like you need to have basic knowledge of Google Maps, how to create a key of Google Maps so that you can use it for integration. Certainly you need to have IDE access. You can use Web ID or Business Application Studio or whatever you want. And lastly, certainly you have to have knowledge of SAP UI5, right? So in this particular video, we'll showcase two different types of integration. The very first type of integration is using iframe. So in this particular integration, you get a map and the location of a certain area, right? And you just integrate that map in your UI platform. So the use case for this particular type of integration will be to show static map. Suppose you want to show the address of a fixed location. Then in that use case, you don't need to have API based integration. You can just simply use simple integration using iframe. So the step will be just to create a simple UI5 application, write a simple code for integration, and then use iframe based integration. And the second way of integration is using Google Map API. So again, for this particular integration, also you need to have a UI5 application, right? And you will write a code for integration and you need to have JavaScript based API. So this you have to generate using Google Maps. It is a paid service. So you need to have first add your billing account. You need to add your credit card or debit card into Google. Then you create a key. And once a key is created, you enable that key for JavaScript API use case. Then only it will work. So let's go and check out the coding of the both use cases. So let's use the first use case that, that is the iframe based integration. So iframe based integration need not to have so many lines of code, only one line of code that is for iframe. So we have one iframe generator for, uh, you know, Google Maps integration. This link will share in the description of the video. So here you can write the name, whatever name you want. So I am writing my project ideas. Then you provide your address. So I, as of now, I am in Noida. I will use this. Then you can provide the coordinates. Click here. Search your coordinate. And like I will just search Noida here again. Fine. So you get these coordinates. So you can just copy like this and this. Right. And then you can just find your code here. So you can just copy and paste this iframe in case you are using HTML based integration. Right. Otherwise, for our use case, we use a component called HTML. And within that, we have something called iframe. And we have manually provided the width and height. And the source we have just copied from this particular iframe area. So if you see, it will generate a source. Right. So it starts from here, maps.google.com slash maps, something, something, something. Same thing we have just copied and pasted here. Nothing else. Control S, save, and we'll try to run the application. Fine, so we'll have to just comment some code that we're not using. We'll try to just refresh. And perfect. So we have done a very simple integration of Google Map in SAP UI5 using iframe. So we have given hard-coded location, latitude and longitude. 
so that only that particular location is shown in the UI fine now there is second way of integration where you actually generate a code so for that this uh, article is provided by Google Maps and we'll add this link in the description of the video you can follow this particular link and create your own API key so once your API key is generated the very first thing you do you come to index.html file and write a simple script so all this line of code will add in the you know description of the video and this is the key that I have generated for myself and we'll just replace this particular key here fine so once you integrate the script now you can easily use Google map APIs now you go to view and we will just comment out the iframe part and uncomment part, this part of code where uh, we have manually written the canvas so here we will be adding our code or map code from controller so this is the part so again here they fetch latitude longitude and showcase the same on the ui so i believe everything is working fine if i try to refresh something went wrong so we'll just try to rerun the application and close it out and it loads fine the reason being the first time it failed is like if you change anything in index.html file you have to always restart your application from scratch so that's that's how it uh, went wrong now the location is being shown somewhere not from India right and we will just uh, copy and paste these coordinates to see if we can bring this map to India so I will just go to controller file and add these values here this and this one save and refresh perfect so now you are in India right so you have changed the latitude and longitude so the API key is generating the right directions now so apart from just uh, simple map integration here you can do a lot more than that because it is API based so the more functionality you keep adding like you are going planning to add search box you are planning to add distance you are planning to add navigation Google ma map charges for all those functionalities so you have to enable each of them one by one and keep adding the components and every time you add a component you your billing will be generated so every month you'll be charged some amount for that so I believe this video was helpful in case you need more functionality in case you want us to create a different video where we actually create the entire Google Maps using the API based integration and also perform more components and functionality top over it then you can just ask us in the comment section and we'll plan for that video so yeah, thank you very much.